What's up, agents? And welcome back to another division video. So the Urban MDR has received some changes along with some other rifles. And if you're a Div 1 fan, you might have some fond memories of this gun. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And let's get straight into it. Right. OK, so first of all, let's flip to the patch notes. So you can see here that certain rifles have now become fully automatic. Uh, the UIC 15 that stands out and the MDR, the LVA or C does, but that's a rifle in this game. Uh, it's not an auto assault rifle like it was in Division 1, but I will go over that again in just a minute. So the UIC and the uh, the MDR, right? So let's take a look at them uh, here when we go into this section here as well. So we go to rifles. So you can see the UIC actually got a little bit of uh, a buff. Uh, but slower reload speed, but a significant buff in optimal range. Uh, the MDR took a tiny bit of a, a nerf with a reload speed and with damage, but again, the optimal range is much better. They were pushing for optimal range, it seems. Uh, and uh, yeah, the uh, the LVOA took a, a buff, uh, sorry, a nerf uh, as well, uh, but we're not really going to look into that gun too much because... When you look at its bursty burst, as this shows, the LVOA comes down at the bottom. Uh, but what I do want to look at is the USC 45 uh, and the MDR. The MDR comes kind of middle of the road for burst and for sustained. Uh, as you can see here, if you take note of the sustained here, it's at 4444, which is pretty much... Uh, down the middle. Now, I hope I've got a USC 45 ready and not a UIC 15 mod 2 and, and mix them up. Let's just double check. I've got the right gun ready. USC 45, that's the right one. That's the right one. All right, so we got two of these ready to try out. As you can see here, they're both expertise level 20, which I think is going to have to become fairly reasonable for people to get to now going forward uh, with the new cap being 27. Um, and as you can see, the RPM is slightly better, but we've got the same in the mag. I put Optimist on both of them, uh, and I'll show you the build that I'm running. Well, I'm running Aces. Um, but obviously, I, I think it's a little bit of a dilemma, right? So this one here, it is bouncy. It is, and the more and more it goes on, it is bouncy. I'm going to take it out to, to play with it, because obviously we're getting some really, really nice numbers there. And I really don't think that we're going to be holding it for the sustained amount of time that I was doing them for it to become wild. Uh, this one, however, is, is significantly harder to hold. I don't think if you're running a controller, you would have much chance with this. I can literally just about hold it too with a mouse. So I think that the Urban MDR is going to win out, even though the damage stats are not as good. Uh, because the RPM is better on that. But we're going to give them both the first shot in the real world. And we'll see uh, what they're actually like. Because I guess, you know, not everybody likes to run an M1A. Uh, if you've not checked out my 1886 video, though, I would go and have a look at that. Because, uh, yeah, that thing is, uh, is wild. Alright, so we're on Heroic. We'll start with the Urban MDR. If you've not yet, do me a favor, follow me over on X or maybe join my community Discord. The links are all in the description. Alright, so in a real world so far. Actually, not that bad. Uh, and ACs might not necessarily be the best thing to run, but obviously I wanted to... Actually, I'm pretty impressed. It, feel, it was far more wild in the in the range because you're always trying to hit one spot for such a, a long period of time. But the fact that I'm not having to because things die so quick. I mean, we've got to get some elites in the next section, right, for it to be a better test. But... <laughs> the ace is over and over. You know, reloads pretty quick. Gonna get smashed from behind, I wanna. 
Hey. Oh. I am going to try the other gun, but I want to get to a section where we've got elites for it to be uh, a bit of a decent test because anyone can throw themselves up against reds and purples and make it look good, right? Alright, so oh boy, alright, so we come up against the armored elite, and the first thing he does is give us a smack. I am liking the fact I am liking it but with no survivability built into the build I kind of just feel like the auto is just a bit of a, a throw off right I could just I feel like I could have had him him dead with an M1A or an 1886 you know so much quicker You know, maybe, maybe Aces is not the play, you know, but, uh... Wait, you got a red. What did we get? A diamond back. Rip, get off. Right, so I'll switch to the, uh, the other rifle. Just for this next section, and I'll show you the build I was using, but... I mean, they're alright. The addition of the auto is nice. I don't think, for me, it's brought it back into, uh, you know, the light. I think there is still, I think the M1A still shines better. The 1886 still shines better. Even the Diamondback would be nice. Let's see what this one, this one should be powerful. Feels very, very similar. But it's much harder. I mean, I suppose I could tap rather than hold down. I don't have to use the new hold down function. But obviously when we do hit, we hit significantly harder than assault rifle does. You know, 1.8 mil to the head is significantly harder. So I suppose this, you know, leans into the fact that if you want to build a bit more weapon handling into your build, you know, that would be super laser-like. Aces might not be the play for it. They're okay. Do I think... I don't think there's anything's game-changing with these, but for people that like to use them, this is definitely a win. Damage target recover on the boss of them. Uh, I put the group or backpack on. Uh, weapon chance and crit damage everywhere with vigilance. That's why I was running the shield. I did put the eagle's grasp on because I wanted this weapon handling. I think I could have done with it probably about another 15%, to be perfectly honest. Headshot damage and weapon damage. Maybe... Uh, running a backpack maybe would give you some extra deeps as well uh, for some extra 20% rather than the group all might make more sense uh, aces with weapon damage crit chance crit chance chest piece weapon damage crit chance crit damage nope crit damage crit damage double crit damage holster weapon damage crit chance and these weapon damage critical hit damage but yeah, I mean, it's all right. I hope it's give you a bit of a taster of what they're going to be like, if it's worth getting them ready now or not. But I don't think the auto, you know, improves on these two too much. When it comes to the rifles, I think the M1A 1886, the M1A variants, I think are absolutely going to dominate. Uh, I think, unfortunately, everything else uh, isn't quite the control wise. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Maybe come and see me in Discord. I look forward to seeing you and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.